Listen, I've got this whole high school thing psyched out. It all breaks down into cliques. Cliques? Yeah, you know, cliques. Little in groups of different kids. All we have to do is click with the right click, and we can finally have a social life that's worthy of us. No way. Not even with cleavage. I told you, this year we're going to be popular. Yeah? Yeah. Even if it kills us. Square pig, square pig, square, square pig. Always never quite right. Square pig, square pig, square, square pig. I'd like it if they'd like us, but I don't think they'd like us. Square pig, square pig, square, square pig. Don't want to wear my glasses. I have to wear my glasses. Square pig, square pig, square pig. Why Ms. Loomis calls her class self-sufficiency. We're not learning how to be more self-sufficient. But she is. That's what's important. I'm sorry, but I don't think that 14-year-old should have to sit through a lecture called That First Gray Hair, Pluck or Tint. Shh. You? So, you have your choice of three paper assignments for next week. When the relationship is over, between relationships, and what I do when I'm by myself and there's no one else who wants to do something with me. <laughs> friends, friends, don't leave me yet. What I'm about to say is directed only to the women in this room. He starts talking about crabs again. I'm gonna lose my lunch. For years, we women have been participating in so many sports. But they won't let us play football. And why? Because they don't want us to touch each other. It's a conspiracy. Well, this week at Wee, we're holding tryouts for an all-woman football team. All right! We've come a long way, baby. Football? You mean like with the ball and everything? Well, people, as chairperson of the Wee Pep Committee, it is my sincere belief that a school with two football teams will be twice as peppy. Alas, I must remove my name from the roster due to my pep-related duties. But irregardless, I will lend a helping hand by proposing a name for our new school team. The Weemoo Wee Squaws. Oh. Well, if you think that you can improve on that, there will be a box with a slot in it in the student pep room. I don't know, LD, you know, I mean, like, I saw this football game on TV once, okay, and, like, these two guys came up to this other guy and, like, knocked him over. I mean, completely wrecked his pants. Girl, that's part of the game. And you get new pants later. Come on, Jennifer, get down and hike with the sisters. Thanks, Mommy. Marshall. <laughs> hey, hey, oh, shit. Oh, shit. That's an old trick I picked up in now. Don't worry, they were just blanks. This time, <laughs> the name's Murphy. Osgood Murphy. Platoon Sergeant 06743389. Got my discharge in 72, then got into math teaching on the GI Bill. As many of you already know, your regular math teacher, Mr. Kludgeon, will be out in a full body cast for the next four months due to an accident with his garage door. <laughs> that leaves me in command. You do your work and keep this area clean, and we'll get along just fine. Cause nobody wants to be messing with the big O. Oh, great. We're being taught algebra by a refugee from Apocalypse Now. <laughs> All right. First duty, story problem. Hot tent, hot! Bomber A can drop his load in two hours. Bomber B in three hours. How long will it take them working together? Sang Ho! 
An hour and 12 minutes? I can't hear you. An hour and 12 minutes? I can't hear you! An hour and 12 minutes? An hour and 12 minutes what, Private? An hour and 12 minutes of time? An hour and 12 minutes, sir! <laughs> Don't mess with the big O. Homework collection! <laughs> Name? Like Jennifer DiNuccio, you know. Where's your assignment, DiNuccio? I couldn't do it. My mother made me organize my lipsticks last night. <laughs> You're not prepared, DiNuccio. You're not prepared. And they wonder why Saigon fell. Well, I want you to hand it in tomorrow. Ten times! <laughs> For sure. Where is yours, soldier? Well, I saw that football practice last night. Football, huh? I used to play for the Mekong Delta Advisors back in 68. You a team player, boy? Uh, yeah. Well, I play on a team, yeah. Hmm, well, we'll let it slide this time, Private. Eddie. <laughs> <laughs> Like, it would be nice to get out of doing homework, you know, but what if football gives me muscles? Like, where they don't belong, you know? I mean, what'll I do in the spring when it's tube top season? Don't worry about that. I look at it as a good career move for me. I mean, in five years, I could be doing Bob Hope specials and light beer commercials. Shoot, I might be the next Bubba Smith. Come on. I mean, if God had wanted women to play football, he'd have made a men instead. Hey, Vinny, if God had wanted you to talk, he would have given you a brain. Oh, yeah? Well, if God... Later, Vinny. Much later. You know, Patty, we'd be near the boys' team, running with them, breathing with them, sweating with them. Guy jocks don't go for girl jocks, dum-dum. They go for the cheerleader type. Says who? All I know is what I read above the sink in the girls' bathroom. So oh, beautiful. You're too gorgeous. How's my favorite audience today? Patty won't join the football team with me. Well, hold on, wait a minute. Are you telling me that you're headed for the boys' locker room? To boldly shower where no babe has showered before. <laughs> We're talking about girls' football? Wow. That's a totally different team. Totally. A herd of girls in helmets running into each other and getting hurt? That's so real. <laughs> this is beautiful. I can do the play-by-play -play over the PA system. I do a great Howard Cosell. Well, Muhammad, I understand that you're going into a new weight class, and for your next bout, you plan to take on the entire cast of the Facts of Life. The worst Howard Cosell, bar none. Oh, it's gonna be great. And Slash? You're gonna do the halftime show. Halftime? I like the sound of that. It sounds so slow. <laughs> well, I guess I better get my van out of the handicap zone, huh? Mm -hmm. When you hear a honk, it's me. Okay. You know, LD, like, I don't understand why you want to be like Bubba Smith anyway. But how come? Well, because, like, I don't know who he is. Girl, Bubba Smith is 270 pounds of purified cool. He's the Diana Ross of football. But why do you care so much about football? Well, I started playing football with my brothers before I was old enough to drool, and we were good. I mean, cars used to screech to a stop just to watch us play. Jennifer, I just know this is something where I can be special. It's the first school activity that means anything to me. Like, even more than lunch? Hey, I don't lie. And, girl, you just gotta join the team with me. Like, why? Because we're best friends. We are family. I'm Ebony, and you are Ivory. Ivory? Like, try Neutrogena. expect me to, like, fall down in the grass. I mean, this suit is brand new, you know? Well, haven't you been using it to do aerobics or anything? <laughs> like, no. When I put on an aerobics album, it makes me want to, like, lie down with a diet soda and, like, listen to it, you know? Oh, check this out. Why are 
Why did my father insist on me wearing his old shoulder pads? I look like Charles Lawton getting ready to pour lead on the peasants. Only from the back. <laughs> friends, friends. Before we begin, I think we should all join hands. Come on. Well, women, I hope we have a productive afternoon. Just remember, the key to football is being cooperative, supportive, and sensitive to each other. Osgood Murphy, mathematics. I'm subbing for Kludgeon, assistant coach to the boys' team. I thought I'd pitch in and give a little ground support. Well, <clears throat> that's fine, Mr. Murphy, but we women are trying to discuss the rules in an open, relaxed atmosphere. It won't work. Now, listen up, everybody. Are you combat ready? Excuse me, Ms. Loomis. Don't cut in on the big O. <laughs> Just a minute, sir. Ms. Loomis, I think I found the uniforms for our new team. Purple and orange school Don't colors. Don't be naive. School colors are too bright. You need greens and browns so the enemy won't see you coming out of the tall grass. Mr. Murphy, we can decide this matter by ourselves. Thank you. That's what the Viet Cong kept saying. Why don't you re-enlist? <laughs> okay, everybody, out in the field, let's play football. Yeah. Okay, let's try a simple forward pass. Green, you go out. Me? Mm -hmm. Well, can I just watch this one? Girl, I'm the quarterback. I call him like I see him. Get out there. Okay, ready, set. Hey! Oh, don't, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Help! Oh! Hi, guys. Listen, if you get a chance between plays, could you try to think of a name for our team? I'll be in the pep shed. <laughs> If I see any more mud, I'm like calling the gross patrol. Come on, Jennifer, just one more play. Like, I can't believe we haven't gotten new pants yet. Madonna, I think we've done enough work for the day. Okay, girls, take the shower. Hey, no way, no way. I can't. Huh? This squad hasn't begun to work yet. I want to see 20 laps on the double. Let's go. Mr. Murphy, we're all reasonable adults. We can discuss this. What are you, a platoon of cowards? Now, you all enlisted for this activity, and you're going to complete your tour of duty. So if any of you has any idea about going a W-O-L, Principal Dingerman will back me up at the court-martial. And you know what we do to deserters. Way to be, Big O. Now, let's hear some singing. We don't want to wear no skirt. We, we don't, don't want to wear, wear no skirt. We like knee pads, sweat and dirt. We like knee pads, sweat and dirt. Sound off. One, two. Sound off. Three, four. We don't want to wear no skirt. Lauren, next time you want us to meet boys, let's just go to a bar. We can't do that until we're 21. Well, I don't plan to stand up until then. <laughs> At least we got to fall in the same mud as Jennifer. Hey, girls, how come you all are acting like wimps? I had a dream that we'd all play hard and win. Where's your pride? Like, LD, this football stuff is, like, unfun. Girl. I don't care if you don't think it's fun. I've done a lot of junk with you that wasn't fun, like going to four different Olivia Newton-John concerts. I hate that girl. Do you have all your albums? You gave them to me. Uh-uh. This time, we're playing it my way. Here, are you with me or with them? Good news. Our opponents this Friday will be the Mid-Central Colossus. Mid-Central? Toughest team in the Tri-State area? Can we quit now? Not a good idea. The big O will shoot us. <laughs> Mine, too. Women? Women, in a few moments, the game will begin. In football, as in life. OK, enough chit-chat. <laughs> Everybody, listen up. The ball is on the 30-yard line due south of High Pung Harbor. 
<laughs> now, the quarterback... Hey, where's my quarterback? Like, the prima donna didn't want to be disturbed. She's psyching herself up. Well, that's very good. I did that before the Ted Offensive. Hello, this is LaDonna Fredericks. I want to talk to you about light beer. I'm worried about our girls. Did you see the other team? No, Mrs. Loomis, but suppose we go scout out the enemy. It's Miz. <laughs> They're so huge. Of course they're huge. They're Russians. People, I have an announcement. After hours of serious deliberation, an ad hoc committee has decided to name our new team the Wee Wee Squad. Ooh. Ooh. Ah, that lovely temperament, isn't she something? Let's give her a hand. <laughs> Good afternoon, sports fans. Marshall Blackman here. It's a beautiful day here at the Weaver Wee Field, and we're ready for the next play. Okay. Four, drop back on the mean side. Slipping, sloping, cattle open. On six. Ready? Break! Break? Break what? Come on! Ready? Here they go, folks. They're gonna mortalize each other. Sit back and enjoy our halftime show as the Johnny Slash and M Marching Band performs a musical salute to things. Oh, Jennifer, I think the black grease is supposed to go under your eye. Grease? I thought this was shadow. Oh, make me lose it all. Friends, women. Ladies, one word, please. These days, as women, we have to learn to function in a man's world. So in the second half, I want you to go out there and kill them. All right, team. You were lousy, and I think I know why. You're just not inspired. You don't have a goal. Well, when we go out there, I don't want you to win this one just for yourselves or for the school. I want you to win this one for me. <sighs> And now for his final number. Johnny Slash, in a tribute to Wee Wee High School, will spell Wee Wee High School. W. E. E. Uh, Johnny, I think you left out the second D. M A W E E. Wait a minute. I'm not finished. Wait. I'm not finished. Wee moo wee. All right, we're ready for the kickoff. And mid central kicks. Wow, I haven't seen such a kick since Linda Carter's last special. <laughs> Just kidding, but seriously, the ball is heading for. Oh no. Jennifer DiNucci up. I don't even want this gross ball. Take it. Hey, you can't quit now. I had a dream. This isn't just a game. This is my career. Ladies and gentlemen, in all my years in sports, I have never seen anything remotely like what I have seen here today. Mid-Central wins by forfeit. And now, back to you. This is an outrage. This is inexcusable. This is treason against Pep. I can't believe this. The game is over. 
And I didn't even get to do my Green Bay Packers imitation. What is it? Friends, I'd really appreciate it if you get up and leave me now. It's been a hard day, and uh, I really like to collect my thoughts. But, Ms. Loomis, what happened out there? We'll talk about it another time, Muffy. Right now, I'd like to be alone. Well, I hope you're happy. Mr. Murphy, what do you want? You know, Mrs. Loomis, it's no surprise to me that we lost. We got no support from the home side. The stands were full of outside agitators, buns, and effete snobs. They figured if we Marie loses, all the other high schools would fall like dominoes. Well, I haven't been beaten yet, because nobody wants to be messing with the big... Listen, O, <laughs> there are times when a woman doesn't want a man to bother her. Can't you see I'm depressed? Depressed? Why? Did you look at the scoreboard? Listen to me. This game was a noble cause. Our troops were brave, and they were right. The next time we have girl sports, we won't have an all-volunteer team. We'll draft the strongest girls from each class. No deferments. But we lost. No, Ms. Zumas. We didn't lose. We achieved peace with honor. OK? Well, I lost the game, and I lost my team. Now I'll probably never get to run through an airport. Look, you can join our team anytime you want. Oh, you're just saying that because I'm a sister. Oh, no way. You were slick. Yeah. Hey, if you want to transfer to Mid Central, you can be a quarterback. Well, what about the quarterback you've got? I mean, she throws like an ace. Yeah, she's pretty good at throwing. But when she's in the huddle, we can't understand a damn thing that white chick is saying. <laughs> well, we better split. Yeah, come on. Later. Take yeah. it easy. Goldie. Right. Yeah? Nutra's got something I wanted to tell you. What is it? Like, I just wanted to say that I'm sorry, OK? Okay. She didn't understand the game, see, you know? I mean, she's a girl. And everybody knows you can't spell sportsmanship without M-A-N. How would you know, Vinny? You can't spell anything right. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, I can spell what you are. You are thick. Well, I might be thick, but your brain is sick. Good one, LD. Oh, yeah? Well, well my brain might be sick, but, but your brain is... <laughs> my brain's sick, huh? Well, well, you know what your brain is? Your brain is, like, your brain is sick, too. Ha, right, your brain is sick, too. You know, for a while, I was thinking of transferring to be with the sisters, but I figure if I stay here at Wee, Wee I'm the coolest girl in school. Like, maybe the second coolest? Uh... <laughs> what is this, a brotherhood tomorrow? Like, what is this, Night of the Living Lamos? We're sorry we were so pathetic today. We didn't even try. Yeah, I know. And even if we had tried, we still would have been pathetic. I know. So this is our little way of making it up to you. Okay, girls, one time through it, pet! Float like a butterfly! 